We don't know if there's anything else sadder than one of the greatest tennis players of all time, Horace Becker, recalling his moments from when he was in prison. After serving eight months for offenses related to bankruptcy, he finally opened up about his experiences in prison, and he even recalled the instance when someone tried to kill him. So let's find out what happened to him during his conviction. First off, his life was in danger. Describing the incidents of violence that he faced at Wandsworth and also later at HMP Huntercombe, he recalled that the prisoners threatened to attack him until others in intervened and saved him. That truly seems like a pretty scary situation to be stuck in. The thrice winner at Wimbledon stated that a prisoner named John at the Wandsworth prison told him that he'd murder him if he didn't do as he said. He had tested it on others, which is why the threats deeply terrified the tennis player, and we can tell that he's still traumatized because of those events. He further claimed that after being transported to a different prison, another prisoner who wanted to murder him appeared, and unfortunately the man didn't even get a single moment's rest. Still, the tennis player wasn't willing to give give up and decided to keep going despite the scary obstacles he faced. He said that when he left his cell, he had to look after his skin and save his own life because the guards never did that for him, but he managed to survive on his own pretty efficiently. We know that he's known for his flair on the court, but he also talked about how he steeped himself in philosophical stuff while in prison and welcomed the chance to teach fellow inmates about arithmetic and English despite his German nationality. We can see that he found all the right ways to cope with this major disturbance in his life, and we're glad that he has made it through unharmed. Coming up, what else did he experience? While describing what he saw in prison, he said it's crowded, terribly dirty, and extremely dangerous because you meet all kinds of people. There are killers, offers, drug trades, and many other things that the player was unfamiliar with before he ended up in prison. For the first time in his life, he admitted that he felt hungry because he had to go to bed on an empty stomach. We can see this in how he noticed that he weighed 97 kilograms when he arrived in jail, but lost almost 7 kilograms over the following 4 months. Even though he has gained weight since then, this was something he never had to deal with, considering how he's been earning millions ever since he was 17 years old. Because of his name, he was assigned to a cell there, but as the door closed for the first time, it was the loneliest feeling he had ever experienced. He recalled being unable to sleep due to shouts from fellow convicts, who included every type of criminal imaginable. Still, the player found companionship with his fellow inmates, and will maintain contact with the pals he established while he was inside, because they helped him through possibly the hardest time in his life. In many ways, he described it to be beneficial to his health. They even had booze, but he never consumed any, as he had to constantly stay alert for his safety. Moving on, he even got a birthday day cake in prison. According to Becker, fellow detainees organized three chocolate cakes on his birthday in November. He even went as far as to say that he had never experienced such unity in the outside world, adding that as the reason he hoped to keep in touch with jail friends. He felt it was an entirely different world in prison because they all looked the same and it seemed strange to him how everybody relied on one another. While talking about the good people he found back there, he said they needed one another because they were pretty supportive of one another in the hard times, and we're sure that bringing the tennis player a birthday cake probably made his day. The sentence was a hard blow for Becker, who catapulted to prominence in 1985 at the age of 17, when he rose to become the youngest unseated player to gain victory at the men's singles tournament at Wimbledon. Finally, his plans after prison. In the end, the tennis legend concluded that prison rendered him a stronger person, despite accusations that he grumbled about a German star who criticized his early release. The 55-year-old rang in the brand new year on a remote beach on the island of Sotome and Principe off the coast of West Africa, where his partner Lillian was born. According to the Times, he traveled to the luxurious location a few days after being transferred to Germany, after he got released from prison. But we all know that he wasn't going to stay in Germany simply because he is prioritizing privacy at this point. He stated that he would instead want to move to Miami or Dubai. While talking in a video he posted on Instagram, he said that he considers this the most challenging year of his life, but he also felt that it's important to realize that it's finished and done. After surviving a difficult experience, experience, he now feels stronger than ever before. In addition, he reports that his mental health is in the best shape it has ever been. Looking forward, he is determined to make positive changes in his life and move forward. Now he aims to start over and avoid the errors he made in the past, a lot of which he blames on sloth and poor financial advice from others, which led to his bankruptcy in 2017. He was also previously charged with tax evasion in Germany back in 2002, and was given a short prison sentence as well. Now moving on to Boris being deported from the UK 
UK. First off, the player was sent to Germany. The German tennis legend has returned to the country after being in prison for eight months. His sentence was carried out in the UK prison, and his lawyer was able to give us a few insights into the proceedings of the matter. The 55-year-old was initially sentenced to two years and six months in prison by a London court in April for concealing over several hundred thousand dollars in assets after being declared bankrupt. He was freed a couple of weeks ago on a Thursday morning and returned to Germany soon afterward. According to his lawyer, he has served his term and is not liable to any legal limitations in Germany. In his statement, the lawyer didn't provide any other information about Becker's whereabouts in Germany, and we probably won't know exactly where he ends up settling, considering they're already pretty concerned about privacy-related matters. He'd typically have to complete half of his term before being eligible for parole, but he was freed early as a part of a fast-track deportation program. Any foreign national charged with a crime and sentenced to prison is assessed for deportation as soon as possible. The Home Office also repeated this in a statement, declining to comment specifically on Becker's case. The player was able to secure an early release from detention due to the ruling, which stated that he would not be returning to the UK for an extended period and would instead be deported to his home country. Coming up, did he return on a private jet? We've got to say, the player truly chose to walk out of jail with style because he apparently flew back to Germany on a private jet that was fully paid for. Mail Online was able to get its hands on this information even before this release, and it only amplified the hype and speculation around his early release. The player was likely to return to the town in Germany where he was born and where his 87-year-old mother Elvira still lives. But how could he afford such a luxurious statement? And was he trying to say anything by choosing that as his transport back home? There was the obvious reason that the player wanted privacy for himself at this time, especially when people would be dying to hear directly from him about his experience with conviction. It is unlikely that someone who has just been released from jail would be in the mood for conversation. It is probable that the person in question was seeking a way to escape, considering the circumstances. But then, how was he able to financially support the cost of this private jet? The simplest answer to that is that he didn't have to pay for it himself. Finally, Boris being gatekept for an interview. According to sources in Germany, the 55-year-old had agreed to an interview on his stunning fall from glory with a Munich-based TV station, where we got to know most of the stuff about his experience in prison. Considering how he is still one of the country's most recognized athletes, his first interview is highly sought after, and we can probably imagine people willing to pay whatever it requires to get their hands on him before somebody else does. There was certainly a lot of curiosity in his release, and the private flight basically ensured that other journalists would not see him before he safely reached the specific journalists who paid him a lot to hear him before anybody else. In the end, the TV firm in question was paying for the jet as a part of their interview deal, and the deal wasn't that small either. The man was paid around $500,000 for this specific interview. He was escorted by home office personnel from the prison to the plane, which most likely departed from Farnborough or Fairford airfields, which is where most VIPs fly on their private jets. Things turned out well for the player in the end. He has some assets and a family to rely on, so he will likely be able to make the most of his current situation. And that's a wrap, folks. What do you guys think about Boris's trial? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on more updates on the sports world. See you in the next video.